First of all, of course, the Commission never comments on, on business decisions, especially not if they are in the making and haven't been made. Uh, but what is important is that the DSA and together with the, uh, the sister proposal, if you want, the DMA, uh, these are rules that govern uh, social, on, uh, social platforms, social media platforms, um, and, and all other platforms in the, uh, in the single market. So they are basically the, the same set of rules for all uh, platforms that want to do business uh, in this market with 450 million users and, uh, and clients, if you want. Um, so that is very important. So um, it doesn't matter who owns uh, how much in, in which company, that the company needs to follow the rules. Now, to come uh, to your question on bots, I mean, on the one hand, the DSA um, is about illegal content. So illegal uh, content, but also, for example, illegal non-compliant products on marketplaces. But it's also about uh, harmful content. So their uh, big online platforms need to do um, a risk assessment regularly every year, uh, and an analysis what are the risks that their platform uh, poses. And here, um, let's say harmful content plays a role, and if this is amplified by bots, for example, this information would be one of the four categories uh, that are assessed there could fall within uh, within this uh, risk assessment. Now, it's of course it really comes down to the question: What platform are we talking about? Uh, what uh, what is really the risk that this platform assesses? But uh, so it's not you know uh, one size fits all. It's really uh, let's say if if you want a generic assessment that each platform needs to do. Other categories than this information is, for example, um, harm to minors, um, freedoms, and of course illegal content. So, uh, very difficult now to say specifically whether bots as such are targeted. That's not the provision against bots, but it's about the fact what is the risk, the systemic risk, that a platform identifies and that it needs to mitigate. Thank you very much, Johannes.